Okay YouTube, let's do a shrimp update. November 2016. Alright YouTube, it's Brian again coming at you with an update on my shrimp tanks. We'll just get right into it here and start with uh, one of my two Taiwan B tanks. As you can see I got quite a variety in here of uh, blue bolts, red bolts, pandas. Um, what else is in here? There should be some uh, black king kongs and shadow pandas as well. Got a lot of uh, white looking ones right now that have been kicked out I think from the uh, kind of light colored red bolt that was uh, buried a while back. A few different uh, sizes of babies going on in this tank too so there's been a few different uh, females that have given birth over the last couple of weeks. But overall this tank's doing good. This tank's actually probably doing better than my other Taiwan B tank. Uh, I'm not sure why, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Really nice blue bolt right there. I recently picked up some awesome looking blue bolts from our local auction. Um, at a really good price, so I couldn't be happier about that. So that's that tank. Up above here are my other Taiwan bees. Now the bees in this tank are probably higher quality, most of them. But I just, for whatever reason, I'm not getting a ton of breeding, and when they do, and I've said this like a broken record, but uh, not all the babies seem to, to make it for whatever reason. Now you can see there are some smaller shrimp in here that are, uh, I would classify them kind of between shrimplets and juvies, maybe juvies, that seem to be doing good. So uh, maybe I've turned the corner and been able to figure out what's going on. I'm not sure, but you can see some more up on that rock there on the Oiko stone. But I recently got, oh, I see a dead one in the back there. That's not cool. Um, Shadow Panda back there dead. Um, but yeah, I recently picked up uh, some additional Taiwan bees from uh, Daryl at DET Aquarium. Um, so um, they're newer, so most of them are probably hiding at this point, which seems to be my experience is what happens with uh, newer Taiwan bees or newer shrimp in general but we're just gonna keep trying keep working at it and eventually we'll be uh, we'll get this colony thriving I have no doubt pick that shrimp out of there as soon as I'm done filming it's a nice couple of blue bolts back there good sized there's one on the sponge filter there too these wine reds are really looking nice too up front here. It's hard to tell, but I think that one might be buried. Anyway. Um, what I got going on right here is I'm setting up uh, two new shrimp tanks and um, they're not going to be additional tanks but I got my hands on two 15 gallons. So when you're dealing with Caridina you have to use uh, activated substrate like ADA or SL Aqua or Contra Soil. But that only lasts for a certain amount of time, so you got to swap it out. So what I'm doing right now, I'm at the time period on most of my tanks where I need to swap it out. So I'm setting up uh, two new ones. The top one is SL Aqua, and uh, if you know anything about SL Aqua, there's a whole setup method to it. Things are progressing nicely. You've got a good layer of uh, bacteria starting to build. And then down below, I'm using uh, ADA uh, Africana. Uh, this tank 
below will be one of will um, replace the Taiwan B tank, and this one here will go where this PRL tank on the end is right here. So um, we'll start by showing you these PRLs. Uh, <laughs> don't have a really good angle here because of uh, this tank in the way, but. What I have left is still surviving, no breeding going on that I've seen. Um, probably said this in the last video too, but this tank is completely overgrown with mini pellia and some other moss, so I gotta clean that out so I can see the shrimp a little bit better. A lot of them tend to hide when you've got that much cover. But what I've got left, they're doing good. I'm not seeing any dead shrimp or anything. This is uh, one of my CRS colonies. Um, started with 50 I'm down to probably under 20 total somewhere I'm not sure what happened there but that's frustrating but again you just got to keep trying shrimp are so delicate and so hard sometimes at least for me so um, but this colony I I saw at least one buried female just last night um, so this colony's got some hope that it'll uh, start uh, growing and we'll go from there So this is kind of interesting. This is the tank where I was uh, breeding the Thai bees. Um, I had a I had Royal Blue Tigers and uh, a PRL female in there, and uh, things were going good. I had two, at least two, maybe three uh, times where she laid eggs, and then about three weeks ago, a couple days in a row, I came down and saw like two dead shrimp per day. And so something was going on, so I did a water change, um, removed the dead shrimp obviously, and after, and it stopped, I'm not seeing any more dead shrimp, but the colony did get reduced a little bit. And the bummer of the whole deal is I have not seen that uh, the big female PRL, so I didn't, she didn't come up dead where I, uh, I, I didn't have to remove her, but at the same time I haven't seen her. So I think she died somewhere and got eaten, which that's a bummer. But the good thing is, is I still have a few Thai bees and uh, also some of the CRS that, uh, that uh, got kicked off. And at least uh, a few of the most recent babies, so you can see one on that alder cone there and another one back by the, uh, by the uh, Subwasser tank made it. So, and then some of the, uh, obviously some of the Crystal Reds we still have. One of the Royal Blue Tigers is still there. So we're just going to let these things, these guys do their thing and see what a second generation might look like if some of the Thai bees breed with each other. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. And then the old uh, faithful here, the um, A through S grade Crystal Reds are doing great. Um, breeding like crazy. Always got these for sale if you're looking for some Crystal Reds. Great starter shrimp. Um, these are super hardy. Um, they just breed like crazy for me, and uh, yeah, they're they're just really great shrimp. Even though they're lower grade, they, they have just great looking red and white striping on them. So uh, shoot me an email if you're looking for some of these. My email is going to be listed below in the comment section. But constantly breeding, constant new babies. Look at all these babies up front here. Anyway, we'll head on over to these tanks and we'll take a look at uh, the top one here. These are some uh, uh, red Neos, uh, what I have left of them. They used to be called uh, Savage Reds because the uh, person that bred them's last name was Savage. They're doing decent, you know, um, the few that, the few that uh, survived for me are doing good and they have had babies there's a couple there um, so I'm just gonna hopefully let this colony build and go from there but uh, nice quality nice quality for sure for red or you know for a red I don't want to call them red cherry but you know a red neo of sorts <clears throat> the other old faithful here are the royal blues doing great they don't stop breeding for me either. I've got these for sale again. I, I kind of stopped for a little while, but there's a few red rillies in there too that I gotta move out. But they're always doing great. And these are very hardy too. Um, more of an expensive shrimp, but uh, they're, they're a nice, nice shrimp. So let me know if you're interested. Um, 
these are my painted fire reds for the most part. A few of these need to be called, but I'm just kind of letting things go for a while. There's a buried female right there. This one coming in for a landing right there is one too. Some lower quality, like I said, but higher quality as well. Recent, recent, uh, there's some babies right here I'm trying to get in. Sorry, uh, recently there was some babies uh, that I noticed. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. They kind of blend in, but that's not one of them right there, but there are some smaller ones around in this area. So, working with these, trying to get a good nice line of painted fire reds. See up there, there's some babies and some adults on the filters. There might be a buried female right there too. You know, it's funny, when I'm doing these videos, I say that might be a buried female a lot because when you're looking through the camera lens and, and all this, it's always hard to tell. I need to always get my eyes really posted on there to know for sure. Um, and then down below are my crystal blacks. Trying to get some breeding going on here. Colony was doing good and then it kind of stopped. I think I sold off too many females possibly, but um, I got some more, another shipment in pretty recently, so we'll see what we can continue to do here. Um, sorry, that's a bucket that keeps getting in my way. Here's what I have of the Aura Blues left. I had a couple die off last week. I'm not sure what happened there, but um, haven't seen any more breeding going on with them. But we're just going to continue to work on them and may order some more as well. Green Jades are doing good. Sold a bunch of them recently, so. But I still have a ton left. Um, they're really hard to see in this tank, and the lighting's bad. There's a couple in there I need to call out. But overall, they're doing good. And then up here is, this is kind of turned into a red really slash weird orange looking whatever tank. Um, I had sold off all my red reallys quite a while ago and a few stragglers hid behind hidden, hidden moss or on filters or whatever. And as I noticed them, um, well first what happened is I had red tigers in here. Um, and I started noticing that there were red rillies in there and so I figured it out because what you know whatever they were in this tank before the red tigers so I had been calling them out and putting them over here that's why I had said before there were a few red rillies in this tank well anyway this tank became available so then what I started doing is putting the red rillies back and they've started to form quite quite a nice colony actually now there's some weird looking stuff in here because I, I did this I called a few shrimp out of another tank and threw them in here um, too but anyway things are going good so I don't know I guess I may do a red really colony again we'll just kind of see if I want to want to do that or not and then finally up above here are the blue dreams got um, some buried females and also some recent babies there's one um, kind of all over the place but um, there's a lot of algae on this glass too so that's not coming out as good but so things are going good with these blue dreams um, I had a handful left and actually before I got anything new um, some of the ones I had left actually two of them I came up buried and then I got some other really nice ones and then some calls from a guy that's uh, Josh call is his name no coincidence but um, He's out there on Facebook um, in some of the shrimp groups, sells really nice blue dreams, so anyway, they're doing good, hoping to see this colony grow quite a bit. Alright, we'll head upstairs now and I'll show you the tanks up there.
Alright, I showed this in my most recent fish room video, but uh, it's uh, worth showing again. Um, this is a kind of a Uagumi scape tank that I've got, and I've got um, red cherries in it. Uh, most of them are actually more like painted fire red quality. Then I have some Amanos too, which I'm going to be getting rid of, but the red cherries are doing real good. I am running CO2 in this tank, and I'm having no problems with the cherries or PFRs, little mixture, whatever you want to say. So they're doing real good. I won't spend a ton of time on this tank because I covered it in my fish room update video. Bunch of them on the back wall there. The back wall's full of algae, you can't really see it, but... Uh, this little five gallon here is kind of a cull tank. There is a tiger of some sort in here and um, it's either that tiger or another tiger that was in here recently um, had babies. You can see a few babies um, around. Then there's some red rillies in here too. I think some green jade calls. I don't know what else, but uh, just kind of a call tank for the most part. Um, over here are the tangerine tigers. So far so good with these. I've struggled with them in the past, but the last two uh, shipments I got of them, I just got two shipments of 10 from two different people. Seem to be doing really good. Um, haven't seen any breeding action yet. I did see one baby um, probably over a month ago from the original ones I had, I'm assuming. But yeah, they're doing good. The other thing I did in this tank is I've got, I bought one of these uh, Hamburg Matten filters from uh, Rob Lupton. He makes them and sells them. Uh, Lup Diesel on his YouTube channel. Check him out. Really digging it. Um, it's it's it would be hard to use them in my 15 gallons downstairs because it really takes up you know six inches of your tank space. What it is is a big foam pad and then a, a lift tube. You just uh, use an air filter or an air filter, a, a air pump on it, and it uh, filters. You know, it sucks everything in through the through the foam pad there and then spits it back out through the, uh, the lift tube. Working out real well. Finally, are my yellow Neos. I've gotten, I've added two, two groups of yellows to this tank from two different people um, out there. And, um, some of them are doing real well, others are just doing okay as far as, as, far as the nice bright yellow coloration. Um, but overall, looking good and I'm hoping that this kind of kickstarts my yellow colony. The yellow colony hadn't been doing very well at all and I was really at the point where I wanted to sell it off because I just wasn't having any luck. But I thought there was a few people out there that seemed to be consistently breeding them so I bought some from both of those people. and. Uh, some of my older ones in here, like this one right here, need to just be called because they're not very high quality at all. But anyway, that's uh, that's what I got going as far in that tank. Um, really, that's it for the shrimp update now. Um, hoping to improve some things on some of those tanks downstairs where I'm just not having real real good luck. But uh, continue to follow me. Um, if you are new to this channel, uh, make sure you subscribe to get updates on everything that I do as far as shrimp and fish and my reef tank. I post uh, videos on those, uh, all three of those types of things all the time. And then make sure you go to Aquatic Support Community on Facebook and get involved there. It's a really cool Facebook community, Facebook group that uh, involves all types of aquaria. So thanks for watching guys. Until next time, later.